Hey, 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 welcome to my channel, Unbiased LLC. In today's video, I will be showing you how to sublimate on a 16 by 20 canvas uh, using lamination paper. Right there, I'm just showing you how I stuffed the back of my um, canvas so that it would be flat when I get ready to press it. Right now, I'm um, getting ready to put the lamination paper on it. I have a roll of 500 square feet, I believe is what it is. Um, I could try to leave the description where I got that from in the description box. Um, so I'm just going to unroll the lamination paper onto the canvas and I'm going to leave just a little bit um, up on the edges so that when I get ready to press it, I'll have something to um, cover the edges and you'll see what I'm talking about in just a second. So you just cut off what you need. And I just want to take this time to say, um, if this is your first time watching my channel, welcome. And if it's not, welcome back. So after I cut the lamination paper off, I'm going to put it on my heat press. And I'm going to have to end up pressing it, uh, pressing it about um, maybe three times because I only have a 15 by 15 swing away heat press. So it's not big enough for the canvas, but I made it work. And it doesn't matter what size heat press you have. If you have a 9 by 12 or the 16 by 24, you just do what you need to do to make it work. So right now I'm just going to take the canvas with the lamination paper. So the shiny side is up on my lamination paper. Um, the dull side is the side that you put down. And I'm just flattening it out just to make sure that I have no creases in the paper so that everything will lay smooth. Um, and don't forget to put your Teflon sheet on top. Don't ask me why, I don't know. But uh, I just used the lamination, I mean the uh, Teflon sheet on top. I guess so that it, the, the lamination paper will not stick to the heat press was my thought process and right now I'm just taking my time trying to put my heat press on top of the canvas so like I said I have a swing away 15 by 15 and I was able to adjust the height of my platen in order to fit on top of the 16 by 20 canvas I'm not sure if this will work on um, a clamshell being that you only have a certain amount of room to work with. So I just really tacked the lamination paper down for about six seconds and then I moved the heat press and then I turned the canvas around to get the other side of it to press it down, to tack it down. Oh, I saw some corners that wasn't actually tacked down, so I just went back and tacked that part down. And you want this process to be as smooth as possible, the lamination paper to be as smooth as possible. So I'm going to straighten it out once again and then put my Teflon sheet back on top. And then press that part out. And it actually flattened out even though I couldn't get it all the way flat before I pressed it. It actually flattened itself out, if that makes sense. So I tack this side down again. Um, and right here I'm showing you the image that I'm going to print onto the canvas. I showed you the paper that I use, which is a sub paper, 16 by, what is it, 13 by 19 paper, I'm sorry. And this image came from a Facebook post. So one of my friends is getting ready to get married and she posted a post on Facebook to her fiance and I just thought it was so cute. So 
I took the post, cropped it out, and printed it on my sublimation printer, the 7720, with the sublimation paper, eight, um, I'm sorry, 13 by 19 sublimation paper, and came up with this idea to put it on the canvas for her and him to hang in their house. And I thought it was just so cute. The message itself was adorable. You'll see that as soon as this project is done. So right now what I'm doing is letting the heat press press it. Um, and I'm doing the full 45 seconds on top of the canvas. And my heat press is set at 385 degrees. And so once that side is done, I'm going to have to carefully turn my canvas around so that I can get the other side of the picture to press on top of the canvas. <clears throat> and don't be like me, guys. Take your time right there. I'm just peeking to see how it was coming out to see if I actually had to go back and press it again to make sure that the image was on the canvas. And I did this side again for 45 seconds and my heat press is set at 385 degrees. And I just want to thank the Bestie unit for this idea on the canvas. Thank you Bestie. Y'all go follow Bestie unit on so YouTube. So I just want to say thank you guys again for watching my channel. So I'm going to take off the butcher paper, but I think um, it's easier for you to take the canvas. I should have took the canvas off of the heat press by this time. So I'm taking off my um, heat tape. And then you guys will be able to see the finished product. That's how much ink was released off of the paper onto the canvas from when I started. And here's the finished product. So next I'm going to take my heat gun and I'm going to seal the edges of the lamination paper that's left. I was going to cut it, but I decided to heat, you know, use the heat gun in order to seal the edges and right there you see I started cutting it off and then I decided mm, let's just do the heat gun so either way I guess we'll work I guess it just depends on what look you're going for And I, want, I think that this lamination paper was a three mil lamination paper. You want to have like a thick type of lamination paper to use for these canvases. Because if you use a thin lamination paper, it will burn through on top of your canvas and make it dark instead of uh, being white. And here is the um, heat gun that I'm using. I got this heat gun at Home Depot um, for around $22, I believe. So I think any heat gun will work for this process. You don't have to go out and get some fancy, fancy heat gun. You just need something that will heat up in order to get the edges clean on these canvases. And that's what the canvas looks like. Thank you guys for watching my channel. If you like this video, please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing. Comment any comments. If you have any questions, you can leave those down below. And again, thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.